Hello, thanks very much for clicking on the link and joining me for another in the series of idle chat videos. The American Bar Association's Section 4 Dispute Resolution has this initiative for all of us to have a little idle chat together so that we can get to know our colleagues around the world. Today, I'm welcoming a guest from uh, Asia. How are you today? Uh, I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing very well. Welcome, Shadman Mustafa. Uh, it's a pleasure to be able to talk to you today. Um, so you've probably seen another in these series, and so you know that I've put together about 120 um, not at all serious questions on the, the, the deck of cards here. So we'll give them a quick shuffle, and then we'll get started in on our conversation with Shadman. All right. We'll get some easy questions. Easy questions. I think they're all easy, honestly. All right. Shadman, what is the most interesting building you've seen or been inside? Mm, I think uh, I have to go to Space Needle. It's in Seattle, Washington. Um, I went, I've uh, been there in 2011, I think, 2010 or 11. And it was really amazing. The view from there, from the top, the Seattle Pier and the city, just, just spitting. Right. And that is a spectacular view from the top of the Space Needle. I will agree with you. That's a really good choice. All right. Shadman, what is your favorite application on your telephone? Favorite application? Favorite app, uh, yeah. I have to say, uh, Gmail app sounds boring, but I've got some really, like I've, I've got really good news, uh, many good news through that. So that has to be more special. And I check it regularly, like every three hours. Is there something up? Does it work? These are bad opportunities. Something usually comes up. So. All right. Well, you know, being being connected on your email, that is really important. And I'm, I'm glad it's your favorite. Um, what is the most interesting animal that you've seen in person? In person? <laughs> I don't think I've seen yes. many interesting animals. I have to go with humans because they're indeed the most interesting. Because people, you know, people can be seen, they may seem a certain way, then many years down the line, you found out they're totally different. So I have to go with humans. Humans. All right. That is not an answer that I would have anticipated you giving. You're very creative. I like your answer a lot. Humans. Most interesting animal. Yes. In fact, I like your answer so much, I'm going to use it for myself in future. I'll take that as a compliment. All right. Shadman, if money and practicality were not at all an issue, what do you think would be the most fascinating way for us to, to get around, to travel? I, I, I like the old school way of traveling, you know. Uh, if the view is good, uh, take, go slowly, enjoy the view, maybe on a bus or driving. You can listen to good music. It, it, this, uh, this could be a cheap form of therapy, right? So I see a lot of memes where it said, you know, I can't have for therapy, so I just go on long drives on music. And I seem to love it. It's one of my favorite things. But yeah. I don't like to drive. I like I like to be driven. If a friend is there, someone who can drive me, I just uh, sit next next to someone and listen to music. I prefer that. Like really we can obviously go out teleportation this and that if something like that ever happens, right? But I, I would I would take the you know they go slow and drive in a car or in a bus, listen to music. I I, I, I prefer that. Sure, because when you when you teleport, you don't get to see all the sights between point A and point B. Some, sometimes the uh, you know, journey is journey. It is even journey is as important as the destination, right? So getting there will be fun. That's right. That's right. And taking it slowly is sometimes the best way to get there. Okay. Let's see. What habit? do you have now that you wish you would have started at the beginning of your career? Uh, I think uh, interest and determination 
and enjoying learning different things every day. Because uh, back in the day, I was I'm I'm not, I'm kind of I was kind of lazy, uh, and no, just um, not that focused into learning new things, which I am currently. So I think life would be a lot different. I'd be much wiser I think, if I uh, started to learn new things. Right. I think that's probably true for all of us. Could have could do a little bit better there. Um, next question, Shadman, if you were going to live for one month completely off the grid, would you consider that to be a vacation or a nightmare? I'd love it, definitely a vacation. Love it, definitely a vacation. No question about it. No question about it. All right, that's fair. I hope you're asking where, where, where you want to go. Oh, where would you where would you go? Where would you be if you were going to be off the grid? I would, I would go to maybe Italy, Amalfi Coast, or Sydney, Australia. Like go to the remote remote island, isolated, like just take one or two favorite people with you without phone or anything, no internet, nothing, no TV, just some good books. Simply like just, just sit on the beach, eat well, take naps. Read books. That sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. Shadman, when was the last time that you slept for more than nine hours? Do you remember? Yeah, yesterday. I always sleep. This, 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 is, this is absolutely important. It's quintessential to for my being. You know, I have to sleep well. I sometimes sleep nine, ten hours. You know? Like, I don't even measure my sleep. You know, sometimes I take a seven hour sleep. And then I think, okay, I, 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 need a, I need a nap. I'll take a two hour nap during the day. Because if, for me, my work is all about quality. If I, if I don't sleep well, I can't deliver quality. So sleep is the most important. Nine, really 10, 11, whatever, whatever my body needs. Good for you. Good for you. Uh, do you happen to remember, Shadman, what was the last photograph that you took? Last photograph. <laughs> Uh, I, like, I think I, I took one from my car, it was raining yesterday or something, so, and I was going near a bridge and it looked really nice, so I thought, let's take a picture. All right, nature photography is nice, yeah. Shadman, what is the oldest thing that you own? Oldest? <laughs> I've got really old <laughs> books, like uh, something from the 1970s, which my dad gave me. Uh, so I read those and collect, kind of collect them because they're kind of precious. Because um, some of them, there's no latest edition didn't come out, so they're like one or two editions. People are not interested to read those books, so new edition don't come. So you know, this this kind of books are priceless. Old books. Now, now you're talking my language. I love books. All right, and Shadman, last question: What is it that you? love most about being in the, the resolution industry? Uh, most is problems and you know uh, have, having a dispute uh, affects people severely right being able to help them uh, resolve those and seeing them going home free of uh, problems and troubles or uh, solving uh, disputes between companies that that that's something that really attracts me. That that me, uh, internally brings me happy, makes me happy, it brings me peace. Right. That it's it's a it's a great industry that we belong to. And if people want to reach out to you and learn more about uh, what you do, can you tell me where you're located and how people might be able to find you? Oh, I'm basically uh, located in Bangladesh, um, and I'm uh, as you know, I'm, I'm, I work in industry. Um, I, I work with uh, CIDR, it's, it's a local, um, you know, arbitral organization uh, providing prison services, it's, it's fairly new. And uh, I'm also a chief legal officer and a legal advisor uh, to, uh, to a few companies. Okay, excellent. Shadman, thank you so much for your time and uh, in, uh, I enjoyed having an, an idle chat with you, really appreciate it. Me too. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, All right. Different from us. Thank you. 
it is a little bit different and that's where the fun lies. Well, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope to see you in a, another program soon.